Hey everyone, Insanity here and welcome to a Minecraft tutorial. Today, we'll be focusing on stone generators and I've got 6 designs here to complement what you need. Stone generators are pretty easy to build in Minecraft, you just need water and lava to make cobblestones or stones where the lava will sit on top of a water and therefore it will make stones. But there are many things to consider in making a farm like this because there's a high likelihood if I mine this, this item will pop up to the lava and it will destroy the item so if I try it now you can see that the item will go directly to the lava and it's you know bad even if I put a hopper below it a lot of the stones will go directly to the lava instead of going to the hopper so if we test it out there and you see that the stone will go directly to the lava and I don't know really why is that happening the other category is speed which determines how fast you are farming that specific item and this design however doesn't fit into that category and not to mention you're always growing so the last category is how simple your build is so if you take a look at this complicated thing here there's a lot of redstone going on and you can clearly see that this is pretty complicated but I'd like to this design right here this is the simplest as you can get so we can give a point to this one from that category. Now let's take a look of everything we've got here. First of all, we've got this cobblestone generator and the rates of it or the stats. Yeah, let's call these stats are slow. So this is pretty slow. If we mine this, you can clearly see that this is pretty slow. And the loss rate of it is none. So it, does, it doesn't have any loss rate at all. So if we got have a couple stones here and let's try to mine five we should get 12 couple stones back right okay it's pretty lossless it is because of this minecart over here minecart hopper over here that picks up the item before it lands on the lava so the last category is no redstone so you can clearly see that it doesn't contain any redstone or whatsoever now let's build this thing for ourselves first of all we need a barrel here here and let's put a hopper at the back of it a rail there a minecart hopper break that rail a glass here 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 and a slab at the back of this now let's put our oak door or our oak what's this oak trap door break this to make a hole and put your water here and your lava over at the back of this so I think that is all done and dusted now let's test this thing for ourselves you can clearly see that it is working properly just make sure that you can avoid hitting the Minecraft Harper and it's okay to hold right click because it's registering as you're mining a block instead of um, hitting an entity so you can hold right click forever like this and try to avoid double clicking like this because there's a tendency that you can break the minecart hopper like that. This is the next design we're gonna look at and the mechanics of this design is pretty similar to this cobblestone generator over here. We use a minecart hopper to collect the items before it goes to the lava. So the styles of it is also exactly the same and the only difference is we are mining stone here instead of a cobblestone so if we try this out we can see that we've got five stones here and let's try to mine five more three four five you can clearly see that it is pretty lossless it doesn't lose or it doesn't lose any stones or whatsoever and this has no redstone in it now i'm gonna do this block by block so first of all we need a barrel over here and a hopper at the back of it um a rail here then a minecart hopper like that break the rail and put a glass here with chapter like that glass here and glass there and put a glass here and glass like that here and here and break that temporary block um get a stone slab and put it there and here and that's everything done you just need to put your water here 
and your lava here and now everything must be working flawlessly now let's check out this what are you doing here why are you here um thankfully i'm in survival <laughs> but not anymore this design has three cobblestone generators in it and the stats for this is fast this is three times more faster than this um the rate of losing an item is pretty low so meaning um for every 30 cobblestones you mine you can lose one or two cobblestones and it has no redstone in it i will not recommend you to build this because you can lose some items from using it but if you really want to do it just follow me doing this or building this block by block so first of all we need a barrel and a line of hopper like this and your glass like this and glasses like this also and here and here and just mirror it from the other side and a trap there here and this is to prevent this water here to turning this lava here into obsidian so as you can see we can form a cobblestone generator and stop it from forming this lava into obsidian you can use any non-flammable blocks of your choice to replace these glasses i just want you guys to clearly see what's going on that's why i use glasses now let's take a look at this design right here it is pretty fast because you can generate three stones all at once but it has a high rate of losing an item so for every 15 stones you mine you can potentially lose hey 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 what do you sell? What do you sell? I can give you lava bucket on your face. So what I was saying is you can lose 2 to 5 stones for every 15 stones you mine. And it is due to this lava sitting on top of this stone over here. So whenever this stone pop up, it will directly go to the lava sometimes and will get destroyed. But the redstone in this thing is non-existent. Again, I will not recommend you to build this because you can lose some items from using it. But I'm still gonna do this anyway, so if you want to build this, just follow this block by block tutorial. First, a barrel there, a line of hopper like that, glasses like this, and trap doors like this. Put a glass here and on this side too. So next is, you're gonna put glasses like this, and glasses like this, and this. And break that and this, this and this and this and this and that and this and that and this and that and that. Just <laughs> like that. Then get a slab on top of this um, barrel here and here. Lastly, we need to put water here and water or lava here. So now we can see that it formed a stone generator. We are now finished with the fort design so this is the perfect time to mention that I'm working on a wither skeleton farm. I hope that I can design it as simple as it can be and I made a simple villager reader that is early game friendly so keep your eyes open for that one also and consider subscribing to me to get the most out of me. I'm fairly active at reddit so you can follow me there to know what I'm about to do next. Now this is the first redstone base design that I will feature in this video and the redstone on this thing is pretty simple. We just need a redstone clock that goes around like this and an observer which detects this um, redstone clock constantly and which powers this um, piston on and off. The stats for this design is fast, just as fast as the previous design but it has a rate of losing an item NA, North America, yeah! <laughs> it has no loss rate and the redstone in this thing is simple, just what I showed you earlier. So if we test this out right now, you can clearly see that you cannot lose or you cannot lose any item because the lava is there and not on top of this um, place where, are, where we are mining this stone. So the reason why there is a stair here is to avoid hitting the piston arm when this extends. So like here, if I try to break this, you can also break this, the sticky piston itself. Also, we have these vertices over here and its function is to avoid this sticky piston from pushing these trap doors that has the water in it. So, if you don't know, furnaces are a movable block 
and cannot be pushed by pistons. So this makes it that this contraption over here will not break. Also, this redstone lab over here is just an indicator when I'm gonna mine these stones. So it doesn't have any purpose in this redstone clock or whatsoever. So to build this thing, we just need a barrel over here, right? Barrel there, a line of hoppers like that. And what's next is, I forget. Now the next thing we're gonna do is put sticky pistons over here, right? A line of piston, sticky pistons like this. A glass over here, a temporary line of glasses there. Put your trap door like that. Destroy this. Then put your, put your, put your, put your furnace over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now we need to put glasses like this. And don't remove this corner block because it is pretty essential for the stabilization or stabilizing the water and the lava because without it, it can mess up the production of the stone. So what's next is do something like that and do something like this all the way here and all the way like this. And now what we gotta do is get a stair. And put it over here then a glass here yeah a glass here then that is everything done in terms of the placement of the lava and water and the pistons so what's next is we're gonna put water here and lava on top right then let's get a like this let's get a block and put a line of blocks over here and now we're gonna do the redstone so if you're not aware we're not we're gonna do it right now so let's put a block here and a torch here then do something like this then i forget the timings we need three ticks four ticks four ticks so let's get three ticks here four ticks here a redstone line like this and four ticks over here and let's put a block there and this is where the observer we're gonna be so let's put an observer there and do something like this then two ticks here line of redstone like this and as you can see it would grab the stone that is formed from here before so if we test this out now we can clearly see that we are mining this flawlessly why 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 i don't have haste to is this yeah it should be what oh i mean creative so we're in survival now we can test this out properly so i just want to remind you guys that don't hit the piston arm of this sticky piston because if you do you can potentially break this farm and you know destroy everything earlier i addressed that this is just as fast as the previous design but no it is not because it contains four stone generators but if you try to extend that up to four generators maybe it is just as fast as this but not that fast because this has a loss rate of none and that has a loss rate of high so the numbers can be a little different if you try to test this out for yourself the last design is pretty big i think it fits in a 15 by 10 area and the reason on this thing is not that di difficult or complicated we've got this redstone clock going on here that is always getting detected by this observer here which powers these pistons here and the rate for this thing is 600 stones per minute and for those technical guys out there i know it's not that great but i assure you that this doesn't produce any cobblestones and that is the only or the major defect of every stone farm that i saw in youtube now let's take a look at the stats for this thing so first stat is very fast it is very fast because we can mine 8 stones at a time. So we get 4 here, 4, 4, 4, 4. So it's constantly giving us stones whenever we um, run out of it. So the rate of losing an item here is pretty non-existent because we don't have lava on top of it. Then the redstone on this thing is pretty heavy because we need a lot of resources to build this thing. 
Never mind me just doing my regular thing, burning llamas and wandering traders. Bye. So I'm here to tell you that I'm not gonna speak in the block by block tutorial for this one because I don't want you to get confused while you're building this. So instead, I'm gonna give you some music to listen to so you can enjoy building this thing. I think that is everything done. Let's just check before we test this out that if there is any glasses that we missed. Yeah. Yeah, good. Here. Let's check here. Yeah, it's good. So, what about the redstone? 3 ticks, 4 ticks, 4 ticks, 4 ticks. Redstone torch, 2 ticks there, 2 ticks there, and a redstone dust here, redstone dust here. Note blocks, are any of them are missing? I don't know. Let's check here. Nope. They are not missing. What about here? Let's check this out. Nope. Um, do we need glasses there? No, we don't need that. So let's test this thing out for ourselves now. Yeah, I think it's working properly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's look left and right if it produces any cobblestone, but no, because we are engineers. I am perfect, I am Tony Stark, but not Captain America, but still I want to be fit like him. And yeah, I think that is everything done and I hope that I didn't miss anything at all. So this is the part where I'm gonna say goodbye to you guys. But before that, I almost forgot to mention that please like the video and yeah, video. Please like the video and subscribe to me for more videos like this and as always. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.